Guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to do, it's Christmas Eve. Uh, I've already trimmed my ribs. We're gonna cook three racks of ribs on the uh, Masterbuilt 1050 that we showed you earlier. I've already trimmed them. I've already pulled the membrane. That part of the video, I, I didn't want to video that because that's typically pretty boring and there's so many videos out there showing how to trim ribs and pull the membrane. Uh, so we're gonna get right into the seasoning and uh, we're gonna show you how to season them. I prefer myself to season them the night before. Uh, they've been sweating, they've been on the counter now for about an hour. I like to bring them up to room temperature a little bit, season them, stick them in the fridge for the night, and then all I have to do in the morning, pull them out of the fridge, season them again, just you know, touch up whatever's come off, put them on the grill and go. Okay guys, so obviously we have yellow mustard for our binder. Uh, we're gonna layer on flavors here today. I want these ribs to taste awesome. We're gonna start with pecan rub from Heath Riles. Uh, we're gonna go with the honey killer bee second, and we're gonna go with dirty bird to final it out because of the flavor and the color it's gonna give these ribs. So let's get started. You guys probably by now know the drill. If you watched any other rib videos, you gotta use a binder. We've already patted these dry and we are ready to go for it. So, Get your mustard on there really good. Do the sides. You're gonna wanna get it all over the sides. Try to keep a clean hand because that's what you're gonna be using your rubs with. You don't wanna contaminate those. Get the sides, get the ends. Rub all these in. These were not easy to trim, guys. These were, <laughs> these were, I, I trimmed them down St. Louis style, but they were just, not baby backs, but uh, basically the loin ribs, and man, it was tough. All right, so we're gonna start with Heath Riles pecan rub. Tried it in the past, as you can tell. It's really good. Be generous with it. And I'll show you a little secret here. You do wanna get your sides of your ribs but these first two rubs you wanna put on there kinda of light and you don't really wanna, you don't really wanna do the uh, sides just yet. And even just the smell of that is phenomenal. Don't you think, Amy? Yeah, it smells good. It smells real good. Would you eat them now the way they? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on your second rub, Start putting your second rub on there. On your sides, your ends, don't forget about those. Then you can go back and touch up what you've touched. And when you're doing the meat side, what they call the money side, the show side, uh, you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about seasoning the sides and ruining the rub that you just put on there. So you see, this has got kind of a golden color. And see, if you use mustard as a binder, the cool thing about that is it'll show you where you didn't get rub. So now you can just, you can touch it if you need to and smear it, whatever you gotta do, cause you're getting ready to cover over that. It's not the end of the world. Then you guys can see that I use these racks here, like I've showed you in past videos. And the reason I do that is cause these ribs, they're gonna start dripping in the fridge. And if you put them in just a flat, shallow pan, um, they're not going to, they're just gonna sit in their juices all night. It's not going to do you a whole lot of good. Now, you come back and touch up what you've done here. And on this second rub, I go ahead and pat them in and get them started. Okay? You don't want to rub it in. You want to pat it in. Okay. Final rub. The good one. Dirty Bird. And like I said, this step, go heavy, you're fine. 
this a lot of this is going to cook off when it's on the smoker. And you got to remember it's going to sit in the fridge all night too, so a lot of it's going to soak into the meat. And I'll usually pat it in, give it kind of a head start. See how mustard's showing through? Go back over that. Want to cover it up. Do not be scared to use your seasonings. Pat, not the girl from Saturday Night Live. It's like who's Pat? If anybody's old enough to remember that. Mm. All right, that's it. Gonna wait 10, 15 minutes, let this side sweat in, flip them to the other side. We'll be right back. So late last night, three slabs of ribs walked into the kitchen and one of them was assaulted. You guys get that? Oh God. <laughs> okay, so I want to make a correction what I said on my earlier video about the master bill. I found out something cool that this thing does. You remember us talking about the three switches that it has. The fan only shuts down when you pull open the charcoal basket there or there. When you lift the lid, it actually keeps running to maintain your temperature in that box while you're putting your meat on there so we got three slabs of ribs we're going to throw these things on um, my plan we're going to cook them until the color i like probably around two and a half to three hours we're smoking at 225 today and it's doing a great job holding that temperature and uh, let's get them going we got our grill all seasoned in burned in and seasoned in i'm gonna do one rack up here Grab my other tray real quick for all my heat. Here's another rack. And I'm trying not to touch the top because that's, remember, that's the pretty side. And do one there, bunch them up. Like everybody always says, they cook how you lay them on the grill. One right there. Bunch them up to make them look pretty. Amy, you may have to close the lid because I'm sopped now. So guys, I'll tell you what, we will be back in about two and a half to three hours. We're gonna spritz them about an hour away through every hour, and we're gonna check them until they hit about 165. Then we're gonna wrap them, throw them back on the grill. See you then. Alrighty, so it's been about an hour since the ribs have been on, and everything is looking pretty good. We're maintaining really good temperature here. Two, I've cranked it up to 230, it's kind of cold out here, so. I figured that the box temperature was being manipulated by the outdoor temperature. So, hey, let's peek in, see what we're looking like. They are looking pretty good. We got some pullback there on that top one, that back one. They all look like they are cooking pretty evenly. They are kind of drying out, so we're gonna come spritz them here in just a little bit. You guys probably heard from that video just now. See, you go up in your temperature, and wow, look at that, man. I mean, it, it drops the temperature quick, but I'll tell you what, recovers quickly. So that's the hour mark, guys. I'm going to bring you back at the uh, about probably two and a half, three hour mark when it's time to wrap them. And we'll uh, show you that process and throw them back on the grill for probably another hour and a half, two hours. Take them out, glaze them, and eat them. Be right back. Christmas Day, cold. It's starting to get cold. Um, so we're it, we're at exactly three hours since we put these ribs on. I brought you back on the one hour mark and showed you how to spritz them. I used pineapple juice and water, 50-50. Um, I have kept the smoker at 2.30 the whole time. I wanted, I wanted slow, low and slow. Um, and I mean, man, so far, as far as maintaining temperature, best grill ever. So get you one. 
So we'll go in here and my test, number one, I probed these just a minute ago. They're all hitting 165, 165 to 168. So I know it's time to wrap them. You can kind of tell how they're starting to split a little bit. And the bark on here is beautiful. And when you can touch it and it does not come off on your finger, you know these things are ready to wrap. So we're gonna pull them off. Look at those guys. Beautiful. And I will, that, that's what you want your bark to look like. I mean, when your company or family oops, digs into these, you're gonna be the king of the castle for the night. So here's the deal. What we're gonna do is take these in the kitchen, let them cool for about 10 minutes, and I'm gonna get everything ready uh, that I need to uh, wrap them. I'm gonna show you how to wrap the first ones. We're not gonna bore you with all three. We're gonna wrap one, show you how to do it, and then we'll meet you back out here at the grill. We'll see you then. All right, here we go. So, first rack of ribs. So this is what you're gonna do. Sprinkle some of your seasoning down, your rub, just a little bit. You just need a light layer. Next step, brown sugar. And I use a lot of it. Kind of pat it down. And then you're gonna take some butter. Be real liberal with the butter. And guys, I always make my ribs competition style, but that's what the family likes. So, okay. And then uh, <clears throat> what we're gonna do here, you're gonna take a little bit of honey. And I just get these big jars because I'm tired of squeezing those little jars out. Be real liberal with these ingredients. This is the time. Take your nice, beautiful ribs here and set them down on all that goodness. Repeat steps. Just get you a bat of brown sugar on there, pat it in. Make sure it's kind of somewhat even. Butter. And it's cold, I should have let it sit outside the fridge for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, on the back side, do agave. Don't do honey on the back side. It's a little bit sweeter and it's a little bit runnier and a little bit moister. This is a Cosmos product, rib glaze. Just gonna go right down the center. And the more moisture you can get on these in this step, the better. Pineapple juice. Just a little bit. You want to bring the moisture back to your ribs. All right, and I double layer them. So I take, start at the back here. Bring it up like this. And I roll it. So that I can check them later on in the grill. Okay, roll this part. Loosely roll this. You want to get back in here and check these later on, okay? That's it. That's how you wrap a rib. Uh, I'm going to get the other two wrapped. We'll meet you back out at the grill. Hey, guys. Easiest step ever. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of favoring this side of the grill because I don't want the meat to get done too fast or burnt. This side of the Master Built 1050 tends to get pretty hot. Tell you what, though. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one right there on the bottom rack. And what we'll do is come back in about an hour and just shift them around. Anyways, that is it. Next time you see us, we're gonna be in the kitchen carving these things up. All we have to do now is get them out, check them for temperature. We're looking for between 203, 208. Uh, and then we're going to put some barbecue sauce on them, glaze them, put them back in the grill for 15, 20 minutes, take them inside, cut them up and eat them. We'll see you then. Hey guys, this is gonna about wrap this video up. Check these out. All right, took a total of five and a half hours to cook these bad boys. Uh, we're gonna drain this. We're gonna just make little boats out of our aluminum foil here and put them back on the grill for just a few minutes with some barbecue sauce on them. We're gonna glaze them. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because it's dark outside now. So just a quick recap, okay? Last night, what we did was we, we went ahead and trimmed them, took the membrane off, seasoned them, 
You guys seen all that. Put them in the fridge overnight, took them out today. Put them on the grill at 225 for three hours, okay? Took them out, made sure they hit an internal temperature of 165, wrapped them, you seen how we did that. Put them back on the grill at 225. Uh, took about three additional hours to get it to hit 203. They hit 203 and it's perfect. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is literally, they're so tender. I mean, you can pick these things. I mean, they're just, look at that. They, they would literally just rip apart right now if you wanted to. So we're gonna drain all that juice out. We're gonna put them back on the grill, like I said, for about 10, 15 minutes, glaze them. We'll bring you back for the final part of the video where we cut one out and taste test it. Right, so what we're gonna do is just cut one out of here. And we're gonna try this real quick. <clears throat> Boy, let's just cut right through. Smoke ring galore. As you can see, let's try it. Hmm. That was really good. Turned out excellent. Pull off the bones, smoke you. Sorry, I know I've got it all over me. Mm -hmm. They're really good, guys. Give this recipe a shot. We'll see you next time.